To get the best exam results, you have to find different ways to separate yourself from the crowd because sometimes just outworking your competition isn't going to cut it. When I took my GCSEs last year, I came across this habit that I'm going to share with you today that you can use even right now, halfway through exam season, to boost your results and to get ahead of most people. So without further ado, let's begin. So as we mentioned earlier, just studying isn't going to be enough to get the top grades. You also need to make sure that you're mentally prepared for the exam situation and so we need to work on our mental fitness and so this is where the incredible habit of meditation comes in now you might have been preached meditation before especially if you've been subscribed to me for a while but today i'm going to try and explain it in a more digestible way so first off why would you want to meditate for studying meditation has been studied for its effects on cognition learning but also on stress reduction one study found that meditation practice enabled the brain to create more gray matter which is a necessary part of the brain for learning and cognition. So it's almost like meditation is creating the environment for healthy brain cognition, learning, and putting that on the fast track, really. But meditation also brings down stress, and in the short term as well, so you can actually start to get some benefits right now for your exams that you're sitting at the moment. And science has proved this. Research in the Journal of Physiology and Clinical Psychology found that just five minutes of mindfulness meditation a day can curb stress levels within a week. But just speaking from experience, I've been meditating for nearly a year and a half now, and the biggest benefit I've found for me has been an increased attention span. I've been able to focus more on things that I'm doing without kind of having the distracting thoughts. You no longer get that thing where you're reading and you keep having to read the same line over and over and over again because the information's just not going in. You get into almost a state of flow and you recall what you read a lot more. So if you've watched this far, I'm assuming that I've convinced you that meditation is worth your time. But before we talk about meditation, we need to discuss mindfulness. So mindfulness is almost like your ability to return your attention to the present moment. It's that aha moment when you realize you were lost in thought and you replace your attention on whatever you were supposed to be doing. And so the more mindful you are, the faster you can catch yourself getting lost in thought. Now, when it comes to mindfulness, I really like the video game analogy because if you're anything like me, you probably spent a lot of time playing video games when you were younger. And so we can see mindfulness as a skill, like a skill in a video game, like strength or stamina and so the way that we leveled up these skills in video games is by killing enemies and getting XP and so the way we level up our mindfulness skill is by meditation and the process of mindfulness meditation there's a lot of different types but mindfulness meditation is the one we're going to touch on today it goes something like this you choose an object to focus on this is normally the breath but it could be anything like an object in the distance or something like that now there's many different ways you can focus on the breath you can focus on kind of the feeling of inhaling through your nose and how it feels with the air passing through your nose, or you could focus on maybe the, the rise and fall of your stomach or chest. So I want you to do this with me. Just focus on the feeling of the air flowing into your nose when you breathe in, just like this. So what you probably noticed when you followed along with that, just a split second after you tried to place your attention on your nose, a thought popped into your mind. And this isn't really a conscious process, you're not aware of this, and this is how the mind naturally works, and that's okay. And it's in this moment of, oh, I was distracted, that you can then take your attention and place it back on your breath. And that's like one XP point for your mindfulness skill, like one rep in the gym. And so you continue this process of getting distracted, returning to the breath, getting distracted, returning to the breath, and you like farm mindfulness XP for the duration of your meditation session. Just bear in mind that when you get started with meditation, you're not gonna be able to go for very long. Start with just three minutes or even less if you have to. Again, think about the video game analogy. If you're trying to level up your strength skill, let's say, and you've not done it at all yet, you're not going to go and kill the big final boss yet because you don't have the skill for that. That's like the equivalent of trying to do a monk length meditation without ever having done it before. So instead, the level one noob goes and kills the chickens, which give you maybe one or two XP, which is like the three minutes of meditation. But it's those chickens that allow you to build up to the skeletons, which maybe give you like 30 XP, which is like the five minute sessions. And then I don't know, the zombies, which is the, like the 10 minute sessions. And you see, you get this progression, but putting that to the side for a moment, for good places to start, I would recommend the Insight Timer app for practicing the style of meditation that we did today. There's lots of different like gongs and different like sound bowl noises you can have to start and finish the meditation. You can customize the length however you want. I quite like that. But if you're looking for some more guided meditation, which is where they will teach you in more depth than I've gone into today, 
I would recommend the Headspace beginner course. Headspace does cost money, but you can get a 30 day free trial or you can try the Medito beginner course as a free alternative, it's totally for free. But putting all that aside, we're now gonna go into practice and I'm just gonna walk you through a quick one minute meditation. Now, your brain might be spitting out excuses as why you can't right now because you're so busy working, but if you want this video to help you, you have to take action. So, following along with me. Make sure that you're sat in a comfortable seated position with your eyes open, where your back is straight up against a wall or a chair and hold this position of relaxed awareness. Now, take a deep breath in through the nose, hold it for a beat and then exhale. Now, place your attention on the sensation of the breath flowing through your nostrils. How does it feel? Are the breaths deep or shallow? Remember, if you get lost in thought, don't worry. Instead of judging yourself or judging the thought, simply return back to the breath. Now, you can gently open your eyes. Before we continue, take a moment to consider how you feel. Do you feel more relaxed and at ease? We're not making a judgment on how you feel. We're just simply observing the sensations in the body and mind. And I want you to congratulate yourself on your first meditation practice. Quite a lot of people probably skip the step because it's a little bit hard. So take a moment to acknowledge that and be proud of yourself. So now we're finished with today's practice, let's talk about how we can make this a daily habit. Try and practice for a few minutes each day. Ideally at the same time, because that way it creates a routine and you're going to be more likely to do it every day. I like to do my meditation about half an hour after waking up since I'm not too sleepy. And I wouldn't recommend that you meditate straight away after waking up or just before you go to sleep because, again, you might be a little bit too tired and I've fallen asleep in a meditation before. But whatever it is you want to meditate, make sure you stay consistent with that time. You can set a reminder on your phone, but most apps will set a reminder for you. It will ask you to like, what time do you want to meditate every day? And you put in, I don't know, like half past six minutes. And just before we finish, I want to mention that while you are going to get the short term benefits that are going to be great for your exams, if you really want these long term benefits of, you know, long term learning, long term studying and memory and all the other things that meditation can boost, you're going to have to be in it for the long haul. So many people will quit meditating straight away because they'll say, oh, well, it doesn't work after one session. So I want you to imagine what you would say to the person who's just started lifting weights in the gym. If they've done one session and they look at themselves in the mirror tomorrow morning and nothing has changed and they quit, we would call them silly and stupid because you've got to wait a long time for the physical adaptations from going to the gym. And the same applies here. Yes, you will get the short term benefits just like the gym beginner gets the newbie gains, but for the long term gains, for the you know ultimate like giga chat physique. You have to be in it for the long term. So for your exams, meditation is going to give you a serious boost, not just now, but in the future. And it's going to let you destroy the competition of the other kids of your age who are just mindlessly scrolling on TikTok and frying their attention spans. But the best thing about meditation and any self-improvement habit is that the benefits compound over time. If you're taking A-levels or some other kind of subject in the future, if you've been meditating for you know the year it's been since you've taken your GCSEs, you're going to have racked up so much mindfulness XP that your skill is going to be so much higher than everyone else and you're going to have a massive advantage over your competition. But of course, you have to make sure you're putting in the right revision too. So on that note of actually putting the work in, I made a video a couple of weeks ago about how to revise for any subject in the short term. If you feel like you've not done enough revision so far or you just want to top up what you've done already, you can click and watch that video right now and I'll see you. Good.